Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Miss Shanahan. Just kidding. Welcome to another ELA video, you guys. Um, we're going to be thinking about Ha's point of view today and how it has changed since the beginning of the novel. Our objective for this video is I can describe how Ha's point of view has changed from the beginning to the end of the novel. This matters for our class because by understanding point of view, we can understand characters like Ha on a deeper level. This matters because the more we start to analyze the thoughts, feelings, and actions of characters, the deeper we can understand them and the novel. Plus, after this video, you'll be writing a paragraph about Ha's point of view, so it will help you be successful for that. This matters for your life because when we can better understand characters in books, TV shows, and movies, we can enjoy them more and think deeper about the shows that we like. Okay, so when we talk about point of view, typically we're talking about these terms. First person, second person, and third person. Have you heard those terms before? Awesome. You can tell what point of view a story is told by looking at pronouns. Now, pronouns are short words that replace themes. So when a story is written from a first person point of view, the narrator it, or the person telling the story uses pronouns like I or we. We also see words like me, my, or our. So the narrator is part of the story. If a story is written in second person, the narrator is talking to the reader and they use pronouns like you or your. And if a story is written in third person, you'll see pronouns like he, she, they, or him, also her or theirs or his. That real quick. Awesome. So now let's think about what point of view Inside Out and Back Again is written in. If you need a quick reminder, take a look at these quotes from our book in the white boxes. But what point of view is Inside Out and Back Again written in? Nice. Yep, it's first person. Ha is telling a story, so she uses pronouns like I, me, and our. So when we know what the point of view is or how the story is told, we can figure out perspective. Perspective just means the side of the story that we are hearing or the thoughts, feelings, and actions. So we know, right, you just told us that the inside out and back again is written in the first person point of view. But whose perspective is it told from? In inside out and back again, whose side of the story are we hearing? Yep, we hear Ha's perspective. So you've seen this graphic before. We're just showing it again um, because it can help you remember what perspective is. There are two perspectives or two sides of this scene in this picture, right? The guy excited to see land and a guy excited to see the boat. So when they write, authors use point of view strategically, meaning they do it purposefully. They use it to give the reader access to the narrator's thoughts and feelings and they can use it to reveal important pieces of information about a character's motivations and events or their actions. So you've just reviewed point of view and you'll need to understand it to be successful for our writing prompt for this week. Now y'all, this prompt is about to get a little spicy. It's okay if you feel challenged as you prepare and as you write, just try your best. Also, the good news is we're about to talk through the prompt together right now. Either way, you've got this. All right, so in purple, you'll see our prompt here. As I read, I'm going to take notes of the verbs that I'm being asked to do for this prompt. Then we'll come back and fill in what we will do with each of these verbs. After reading 1975, Year of the Cat, and 1976, Year of the Dragon, write a paragraph that explains how the author used point of view to illustrate Ha's development from the beginning to the end of the story. In other words, how do Ha's thoughts, feelings, and actions demonstrate how she's changed from the beginning to the end of the novel? Answer the question using the race format. Be sure to include one RA sentence, one piece of relevant evidence from 1975 Year of the Cat, 
one sentence explaining how your evidence connects to your answer, one piece of relevant evidence from 1976, Year of the Dragon, and one sentence explaining how your evidence connects to your answer. If we look down at this do what chart, you're basically going to write a paragraph, explain how the author used POV to illustrate Haas development, and answer the question using the race format. So now that we have to do what we have to do, let's look at the two poems we need to use to answer this prompt. Remember, we are paying close attention to how, to how Ha's point of view, what we learn about her thoughts, feelings, and actions, help us see how she has changed. Now, the poem 1975, Year of the Cat, is the very first poem of the book. Pay close attention to her point of view, right? What she says about her thoughts, feelings, and actions, so we can later see how she's changed once we read the last poem of the book. Here we go. 1975, Year of the Cat. Today is Tet, the first day of the lunar calendar. Every Tet, we eat sugary lotus seeds and glutinous rice seeds. We wear all new clothes, even underneath. Mother warns how we act today foretells the whole year. Everyone must smile no matter how we feel. No one can sweep, for why sweep away hope? No one can splash water, for why splash away joy? Today, we all gain one year in age, no matter the date we were born. Tet, our New Year's, doubles as everyone's birthday. But last night I pouted when Mother insisted one of my brothers must rise first this morning to bless our house, because only male feet can bring luck. An old angry knot expanded in my throat. I decided to wake before dawn and tap my big toe to the tile floor first. Not even Mother, sleeping beside me, knew. February 11th, Tet. And now we'll zoom ahead to the last poem of the book, 1976, Year of the Dragon. This Tet, there is no I Ching teller of fate, so Mother predicts our year. Our lives will twist and twist, intermingling the old and the new, until it doesn't matter which is which. This Tet, there are no glutinous rice and mung beans wrapped in banana leaves. Mother makes regular rice and black beans wrapped in cloth. Not the same, but not bad. As with every Tet, we are expected to smile until it hurts all three first days of the year. Wear new clothes, especially underneath. Not sweep, not splash water, not talk back, not pout. Mother thinks of everything. She even asked Brother Kwong to bless this house right after midnight, so I couldn't beat him to it by touching my big toe to the carpet before dawn. Mother has set up an altar on the highest bookshelf. The same forever young portrait of father. I have to look away. We each hold an incense, incense stick and wait for the gong. I pray for father to find warmth in his new home. Mother to keep smiling more. Brother Kwong to enjoy his studies. Fu Li to drive me to and from school. Brother Koi to hatch an American chick. I open my eyes. The others are still praying. What could they be asking for? I think and think, then close my eyes again. This year, I hope I truly learn to fly kick. Not to kick anyone so much as to fly. January 31st, Tet. Awesome. All right, y'all, let's get to work. What you're gonna do now is complete the assignment Ha's point of view paragraph. You can either click next on this Canvas page and it should take you right there, or you can go ahead and find this assignment listed on the English 6 um, homepage in Canvas. You'll see the list here. It's Ha's point of view paragraph. Great job, you guys. Let me know if you have questions. You're amazing. Sending you big hugs, high fives. Talk soon.